Hey guys, Donnie here, and you're watching Big Drone Flyer 77. Hey, welcome back guys, Donnie, and I got today for you, and this is courtesy of GearBest.com. It's the Zombie 8E. This thing is awesome. Um, i got a little footnotes here because there's so much to... For this thing this one this one has the of course the 2.4 gigahertz system i don't have the the um monitor you have different options for your controller which i think it shows it here yeah and i got the two channel pistol grip 2.4 gigahertz radio with receiver they have different options of batteries too i got the um 2600 uh, milliamps they also have the 3200 11.1 .1 volt with uh, 3200 milliamps and the other controller is the uh, pistol grip uh, 2.4 gigahertz computer radio with receiver um, so they have you know different options for that as well so and this thing can go from 2s to 4s so this thing could be a beast so I've seen videos on them and this thing does uh, 40 miles an hour but I believe it's like in the 30s just stock with the 3s battery um, Let's see what else we have here. We got the WP-8BL 102 to 4S waterproof 100 amp ESC. And it's got a uh, 2030 KV motor in it. And it's also got um, a 9 uh, kg, let's see, motor gear servo. And of course the 3S battery. So, you know, this thing, I'm so super excited on this thing. So I'm going to be learning. I haven't had one this big before with that much power and I'm definitely going to order a 4S battery. I've been, I've been looking for one uh, today. So hopefully I can find one. All right, let's open this thing up. This thing is four wheel drive as well. And it, oh, let's see if we can get it out of here. Man, this thing's heavy and huge. Carefully get this. I know this thing could take a beating, but I kind of want to be a little bit careful because I believe the TX is still in that box. Flip this around. Alright. TX. The remote control here. I'll go ahead and look at that real quick. Alright. So we do have the TX without the monitor on there. So you can order that um, as an option. So which would be pretty cool. I'd like to check that out sometime, maybe order it later. So we got the spoiler that goes on the back in there, and then you got the tool to take the tires on and off. And we got four uh, uh, nuts in there, so I'm sure that's probably to hold the tires on. I'm sure they're probably not, they may not even be hooked up. So let's see, let's see if I can get in here. Yeah, they're not hooked up, so. You have to put the wheels on. God, look at those wheels, man. Here's my hand. And I got a big hand. <laughs> this is a monster. Good Lord. And this looks like a real car by looking at the axles. Look like they're aluminum alloy. Uh, part of them, at least the front one. Man, that's crazy. The other tire. I'm going to slide this off. All right. Here's the charger. So we got the... Was it 25, uh, no, 2S to 3S uh, balance charger. So we've got that. I may have to order a charger, too, if I get a 4S battery. I'm not too sure I'm new to that, guys. So I can't be 100% to give you the right answer. So you guys may be able to answer a lot better than me. Especially Steve. Good old Steve there. Shalako and uh, Eric the Red. He's got one of these. And they're both uh, truck guys. So RC cars, trucks, you know, they're more into that. And some drones and stuff. Man, this thing's a monster. I mean, this thing is heavy as heck. I wish I had a scale, but I'm sure it tells me in the book somewhere. So, you know, you have the book right here. Let's see. I wonder if it has it in there, but I'll find out sometime here. Uh, net weight says net weight um 
don't know if this is the whole truck or not, 60 grams, but I don't That could just be talking about the servo and all that, so, um, because it said servo on it, so, but, man, I can't wait to run this, because it's supposed to be like 15, 20 minutes worth of a drive. Man, what a beautiful thing. All right, guys, I'm going to put this thing together, so stay tuned. This is DHK Hobby, so that's where the Zombie 8E comes from. And this is a 1 8 scale, which is kind of more like a 1 10 scale to me. But maybe it's just a hair bigger somewhere. It made That's why they made it a 1 8 scale. I'm not too sure. But um, I wanted to tell you about the, the distance. We got uh, 100 to 150 meters controlled distance, it says. So, all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and start assembling these wheels. And uh, we'll get this thing going. Oh, another thing, too, is once I get the wheels on, We'll take a look on the inside so you guys can see that as well. So stick around. Alright guys, we have the wheels on, that's assembled, um, we went around, lifted it up, snugged them down, um, let's, I'm going to take the plastic off in a minute, still got the spoiler here, so let me take this off so we can take a look inside, see what we got cooking in here, ooh boy, pretty, that is nice, look at that, got the little antenna thing here, so that way it helps keep the antenna up. It just slides right down in there. Hey guys, I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, I wish I would have went and showed you guys where these wires were before for the ESC. They were kind of wedged right here, and they're super pinched, and I didn't like that. Uh, when you're when I was jumping, they'd pop out, and they're sitting here rubbing on the tire and getting in between right here of the of the sway bar and stuff. So I went ahead and reran reran those. I know I got them on the motor mount, but I went and put extra padding, extra wrap on there, and I snugged them down really good. And then I went ahead and snugged everything down on this car because everything gets a little loose, especially, uh, you know, you don't know how tight they put it from the factory. So I went ahead and snugged everything down, the motor mounts, everything, and I went around and snugged up the the little lug nuts because they, they seem to get a little loose after jumping and stuff. So, all right, guys, that's all I wanted to point out real quick. So I did that, cleaned that up a little bit, stopped the wires from pinching. Oh, and uh, the double-sided sticky tape for the ESC is garbage. It, it don't stick. So I went ahead and reinforced it, put some better uh, double-sided sticky tape that this thing ain't going to move. And if it does, I'll figure out another way of mounting it down. But for now, it's it's good. So, All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. God bless, and we'll see you on the next run.